Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. For today's video we are going to be discussing my September beauty favorites. First of all, what a month. That's all I'm gonna say. Uh, before we begin with today's video, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and be sure to hit that notification bell so that you are notified whenever I make a new upload. Also, be sure to add me on all of your other social media platforms. I will link my handles down below. So let's see here, beauty favorites for the month of September. Okay, 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 so I have I have a, a few things to talk about. Um, so I will start with the Georgette Klinger Gardenia Facial Mist. This is fragranced. It does have aloe, gardenia, florida extract, kale extract, and jasmine extract. It does have elder flower extract, has uh, vitamin E and it also has some retinol in there but this is fragranced um, and it does smell beautiful. I have been using this uh, sometimes to tone the skin after cleansing, sometimes to give the skin a nice refresher throughout the day and you can also use this kind of like a, a makeup setting spray and it smells so delicious. I, I have been enjoying this. I love the scent of it but if you are uh, you know sensitive to fragrance or if you have sensitive skin uh, definitely do stay away. This is as per usual um, made in the USA cruelty free, paraben free, and dye free. I think if you are a die hard for facial mists and you don't have sensitive skin this is a good option for you. For a serum and you can tell I have been loving this. This is the Murad Revital Elixir Recovery Serum. Um, I did just recently make a video on this particular serum and I did give it two thumbs up. I have been enjoying this serum. I have been seeing results with this serum. In my video, I called it uh, a, like a Botox in a bottle, if you will. It does have neuropeptides, paracris, niacinamide, uh, cannabis or hemp seed oil all of which are going to do amazing things for your skin. If you are a guy or a girl on the go, this is a perfect serum for you as it is safe enough for you to use it along the eye area and the entire face, of course. This is $89 and you do get 1.35 ounces of product, which is quite a bit for a serum, but I think they did that because it is safe enough for you to use it in the eye area. I use this morning and evening. It pairs very well with the rest of my skincare products. Sometimes I will layer uh, this little guy underneath my Paula's Choice 1% Retinoid Booster. Um, and you can layer this serum quite unlike some other uh, Murad serums. Like I said, it is very convenient that you can use this along the eye area uh, just in case, you know, you haven't used an eye serum or you can't bring yourself to pay, you know, 50, 60 to 80 dollars for an eye serum. You can just get two of those products in this one bottle. Something else that I have been loving for the eye area is the Laneige Eye Sleeping Mask. I thought that maybe you mentioned in one of my videos that this was going to be a much thicker consistency. However, it is not. It is quite lightweight uh, and not very mask-like, if you will. That's what that looks like. So it is kind of like a watery consistency. I have been using this as an eye cream because I ran out of my Drunk Elephant multivitamin eye cream. So I've been using this as an eye cream or an eye serum at night when I don't use this little guy and I've been liking the results. It is not as rich of course as my Drunk Elephant multivitamin eye cream. So far I've been liking the results and that is what that looks like over top the um hand here. Um, I think that if you have maybe oily skin, uh, this will work nicely. And I also love the massager tool. Um, recently I've been under a, quite a bit of stress, so I really like that this comes with a massager. So my eye area really looks forward to that. Something else from the skincare uh, range, I have been loving the Dermal Actives Purifying Triple Collagen Moisturizer. That is something I am wearing on the skin today along with the 
Murad Revital Elixir Recovery Serum. This is a lightweight. It is not fragranced and it is made in the USA. This does have retinol in there. So it's going to help to smooth. Dermal Actives uh, actually includes collagen and elastin in their uh, skincare products. I have been loving this. I do uh, use this morning and evening sometimes. I will Put it all over the face and then I do also put it along the neck and the chest area. It is very lightweight. I do like that this is not fragranced and this has been working very very well underneath my uh, Murad Environmental Shield City Skin Age Defense SPF 50. So I have been using uh, both of these during the day and they work very very well. I think that if you have um, aging skin and if you are maybe combo normal oily skin this is excellent it is a lightweight and it works very well with others so i am going to talk about maybe i already talked about this in another video but i have been using the pharmacy bright on massage activated vitamin c mask with echinacea green envy um, i have been using this it is literally like right over here as far as how much product i've used i have been using this throughout the entire month and i've been loving the results as well although this is kind of massage activated and you do have to kind of work it into the skin uh, with my sensitive skin at least sensitive to physical exfoliation I haven't had a reaction with it and I have used it multiple times before I've been loving this it really just kind of smooths and polishes the skin and it really brightens the skin typically uh, a day after using this mask my makeup wears really really nicely this is a vitamin c clay mask that instantly brightens and helps detox the skin by removing buildup and impurities to visibly improve the appearance of skin texture and tone um i did do a video on this mask um i'll probably link that um up above for you or down below um, if you would like to have a look at that video but I think it was more of like a first impression and maybe not a full review um, but whatever it is I did make a video on this but I have been loving it for the month of September. I do tend to use the Pharmacy Bright On Mask to kind of prep the skin for uh, sheet masks um, as I do think that this has some acids in there. Yeah, this product contains alpha hydroxy acid So that will help to slow off any dead cellular debris and uh, prep the skin for a sheet mask I'm going to talk about two sheet masks that I have loved this month The first of which is the Myrrh Bliss Nurse Healing uh, Mask. This is an intense soothing gauze seal mask it says here, get your daily dose of essential moisture and nutrition enriched with phytoncine complex and hydrolyzed collagen to soothe your skin. Get ready for your dazzling looking days. So that is what the mask looks like. Um, I especially like this mask because it helped to um, get rid of some redness and irritation. And I really like the material of this mask. It was a gauze kind of um, kind of mask, but I really liked the result. It helped to get rid of some of that redness and irritation that I was suffering from. Um, and I love the material. I think it was pretty easy to work with as well. And it just really adhered nicely on the skin. Another mask that I used was the 23 years old Citra Derma Seal mask. That is what she looks like. This was the first time I used a mask by 23 years old and I loved this mask. Um, it was a little intimidating because the sheet was so thin and it kind of just stuck to each other. Uh, but once I applied it to the skin, um, it adhered very, very nicely and I loved the stretchy quality of the mask. This uh, refreshed and kind of revived my skin, kind of woke it up. It did uh, help get rid of some redness and irritation as well. So I'm going to look more into this range or at least this brand and see what else they have to offer as far as masks um, but I was very very impressed with the results that I got and the material of the mask um, I just found it kind of intimidating at first like I said but very fun to work with and very easy to work with and kind of manipulate it into 
the skin. And now to, I just have two kind of makeup based products. Um, and this is the Touch and Soul No Pore Blem Primer. This is a sample size, but um, I have kind of been digging through my subscription box stash to find products to kind of fit into my routine. That, and this is small enough for me to use and kind of know whether or not I like it. Um, when I go in with facial primers, I typically like the spray form because it's easy. Uh, but with this one, um, I do just kind of go along the T-zone area uh, because as I am, you know, getting older, uh, my collagen uh, levels are kind of slowing down and you can sort of see my pores a lot more. So this uh, has been helping to kind of blur the look of pores. Um, and that has been working very, very well with the Dior Backstage Face and Body Foundation. This is in the shade 3.5. And I have been loving this foundation. Oh my gosh, this is so good. Um, it is the foundation that I am wearing um, on the skin today. And I did prime with this little guy just along the T, you know, where you see the, the large pores, and I have been loving it. I do like applying this foundation with the Morphe M439 brush. I did try it out with the uh, Beauty Blender. Did not work out for me, unfortunately. I felt like it sheared the foundation out way too much. And sometimes I do actually go in and just kind of pat it on the skin. I've been loving that as well. And I do apply a concealer uh, with a Beauty Blender, and I don't feel like it moves the foundation at all throughout the skin. This does great after a long day of facials. Um, I love that it is waterproof because I am sweating and there is still foundation on my face. Um, I think I was going through like a little bit of an... I was going through recently, um, at least one morning, some allergies and there were like tears just kind of going down my face because of, you know, how itchy my eyes were and I didn't have like a line of a tear because I had this foundation. So this is in fact waterproof. So even after a long day of facials, this foundation uh, lasts me throughout the entire day. Um, it hasn't uh, broken down anywhere throughout the uh, face. Uh, like my Too Faced, unfortunately, Born This Way foundation uh, began to do on me this summer. So I'm excited that I found this and I'm excited that I like it. I am not excited that this is not cruelty free. I will say that. Alrighty, and that is all. All I have for you all for this September uh, beauty favorites video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, please let me know what your favorites for the month of September were in the comment section down below. So yeah, that is all I have for you and I will see you all in my next video. Bye. Oh my god, I am sweating so much. Am I going through the change? So I have been using both of these.